hey guys welcome back so in this video i will be showing you how to do i2c read and write operation using stm32 microcontroller by using an i2c sensor so first of all start with the project by typing your microcontroller name then type your project name and let's go to the gui configurations first so in the gui configuration go to the connectivity session in there click the particular i2c channel you want to use i am using i2c1 so you can use the particular one you want to use so here there you can see pp7 as sda and pp6 as ssel so connect it to your development board i mean uh, the uh, i2c sensor development board uh, via a pull up resistor if the development board already have the pull up resistor then no need to connect so let's get started uh, let's uh, you know save the project and generate the code so control s yeah so our project is created now let's go to the data sheet of the particular i2c sensor i am using i will be using a gyroscopic sensor i mean basically a compass sensor hmc 5883l so let us see the i what is the i2c, i2C address of this particular sensor you can browse on your uh, data sheet of your i2c sensor which is your i2c address so the 7 bit uh, i2c address is like 0x1e so if you are taking any kind of i2c sensor it will be having you know n number of memory registers to do a read operation or write operation so in here we are discussing about read operation so i will be doing a read operation to a particular memory register so i am selecting the 10th memory register to do a read operation and the 10th memory register will be already already having a you know a default read value so in this particular case uh, i am having like a 0 1 double 0 uh, one triple zero so that is equivalent to zero x 48 so if i'm doing a read to the particular 10th memory register i should get this hexa value as uh, you know as a readback so when you see in terms of communication i will be doing a write operation with the memory register which i want to read data from so my uh, write uh, write memory register is like the 10th register so i will be doing a i2c write operation with the i27 bit address and then i will be doing a uh, i2c read operation with a repeated start so there there i should get the uh, data which is in the particular memory address of the register that is in the 10th memory address i should get 0x48 so now let's start into the coding of the project so first let's uh, do a i2c best scan to see whether you know our particular sensor is connected correctly like the pull up registers everything like in connection wise uh, everything is perfect so let's i mean i already have put up a video regarding the i2c best scan if you have already seen it you can uh, you know skip 10 seconds or 15 seconds forward so just uh, type up this i2c you know is device ready function and just try to do a scan so in the debug section uh, put up the breakpoint within the hal delay uh, then uh, run the code for the continue section then you can see it got hit so the address uh, as you can see it is like 0x1e so this is actually the 7 bit address we have seen the data sheet of the you know i2c sensor so our sensor is actually connected to our microcontroller and it is also recognizing so now let's go for you know the real i2c read operation we will be using HAL I2C master transmit to write the I2C 7 bit address and also the memory address so which we want to read data from. So here we have the um, I2C handle and uh, you know the 7 bit address which should be left shifted by 1 bit so that it can handle the read and write peacefully. The first argument I will be passing is the I2C handle which is already declared as globally uh, generated from the GUI and the second argument will be the 7 bit I2C address so I will be assigning as I to a 16 bit unsigned integer. So we have to do a left shift later and the next will be the memory address you want to read it from so that will be um, you know 8 bit integer unsigned integer I will be writing and I will be passing the uh, address of the memory which I wrote so that is actually 0x0a or 10 the memory I want to read from so first I will be uh, giving the 7 bit I2C address I will be shifting it little later and uh, next will be the memory address and uh, I will be passing it by using ampersand symbol so the address will be fetched there or you can even declare it as a uh, you know the pointer and uh, send the memory address so next will be the size of the uh, data I am going to write that is actually one byte and 100 millisecond uh, let the function be in blocking state so that is not of reason you can give any number of milliseconds for let in between block state and we have to check whether the function uh, you know uh, successfully completed the uh, memory write transaction so for that we will be putting up a if condition uh, so before that i will be doing in the left shift by one bit so we type an if condition to check whether it's got successfully completed and uh, it should give hal okay 
so if it uh, you know um, meets this condition which means the memory write operation happened successfully now we can see uh, hal i2c master receive operation so in this it will be writing the 7 bit i2c address and will be waiting for the byte to be received so this happens after the you know the write operation of memory address and uh, our uh, microcontroller will be waiting for the uh, one byte data which we will be uh, thinking to receive uh, as a result of the read operation so we have to declare a variable to fetch the you know the uh, data which we want to read from so that actually i declare a 8 bit integer unsigned integer and i will be passing the address of the unsigned integer to it so like previously uh, one byte i want to read from so i will be giving the size as one byte and uh, 100 millisecond or like any millisecond you can give in block state so this your processor will be in block state trying to fetch data from it so that stack and if this uh, data returns i mean if this api returns uh, uh, to be true or successfully completed it will give a uh, hal okay so let me put a delay to understand that it actually uh, you know entered the uh, i mean successfully completed the if condition so i'll be putting a breakpoint let's now debug the program so uh, the compilation of the program successfully completed so no errors are there now let's uh, debug it yeah so it got the processor got halted by default now we will uh, you know put up a breakpoint at the beginning of the i2c transmission and also after the successfully transmission of the read byte so let us see yeah it got hit i mean the transmission got successfully completed and the red byte is 0x48 so now we can see it in the expression side copy the read byte variable and copy in the expressions so we can see 72 as uh, you know the decimal if we convert into hex this is 0x48 which is actually um, you know the same as we saw in the data sheet when we decoded the you know i2c data which we will receive from the 10th memory byte so it is actually the same as that of the uh, data which we received from through the i2c communication by so now let's start with the write operation go to your data sheet uh, in my data sheet i have like three kind of uh, read write register so i will be using the first one that is zero zero so i will be writing a uh, you know particular value to this register it will be always having a default value so now let's check what is the default value it is having and uh, we'll discuss what value we're going to write so it is having a default value of like uh, if we decode this binary it will be like zero x one zero uh, we will overwrite with the, the value like uh, any value like 0 x 22 so you have to see according to your i2c sensor which you value you have to write so writing a bad value may you know cause several, uh, several problems with your i2c sensor so be careful about it so we can even uh, put up uh, functions uh, to override like instead of uh, directly putting everything in the mean so let's see what is the i2c communication we are going to do so in this we will be do writing the 7 bit uh, and also putting the uh, write uh, bit as the 8th bit and also the memory address 0x00 we want to write to and 0x22 is the uh, write data we I want to put at the particular memory address so let's start into the coding so when we are writing this uh, we will be using hal i2c master transmit function there I mean we have already used this to read as it will as it I mean before once and uh, master transmit function will be having the i2c handle as a first argument and a seven bit address as the second we already find the seven bit i2c address now we'll be giving a variable uh, to write i mean i will be passing an array basically this array will be having uh, two bytes the first will be the memory address and the second byte will be the data which we want to write to the particular memory address that is the memory address 0 x 0 0 or 0 the memory address so that is that and the rest all things are uh, i mean exactly the same uh, actually the size should be uh, 2 my bad i wrote it as uh, uh, 1 i will correct it later and uh, 100 millisecond let it be in blocking state and if this comes true and if this function returns uh, hal okay then we will uh, you know uh, it denotes that we successfully completed the transaction so i mean after doing this uh, you can i mean so uh, we will just copy the you know the read 
uh, function once again to make sure that we will we are reading the default value 0x10 from the particular memory address correctly and we will write uh, 0x22 to the uh, particular memory address then we will read back the value which we wrote so 10 should be the first read value then we write 0x22 then we read back 0x22 so that is that you can encode everything within a function i'm just for the sake of easiness i'm doing it so let's start uh, debugging and i had put up the breakpoint uh, in a few points so you can see it hit the first point and uh, let us see uh, if it enters i mean if the read transaction is successful and will we read the default value 0x10 so yeah it got hit and if i hover around i can see 0x10 so let us i mean uh, the write transaction got successful and next we see we will read the correct value which we already got uh, wrote so we again i mean the read transaction got successful so if we hover around we can see like 0 x22 which is the value which we wrote just before and uh, if i see on the expression the same value is there so that's all for today thank you guys